Hey everybody, and welcome back to this week's episode of Flick News. Isola here with Flick Direct, and if you're new, this is a segment that I do on the channel that just provides you with, you know, some of the information that we've received in the past week in movie news. So, grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's get this started. This week, we got the trailer for Canary Black, and it shows Ray Stevenson in one of his last performances. For those of you who aren't aware or don't remember who Ray Stevenson is, he starred in such shows as Rome, and most recently, we all saw him in Star Wars Ahsoka. This spy thriller also stars Kate Beckinsale, who plays Avery Graves, a CIA agent who is actually being blackmailed and is on the run. Her blackmailers have asked her to get a classified CIA file called Canary Black, and if she does not do what they're asking her to do, her husband will, well, he won't be around much longer. Now, what's even crazier is that if these CIA files on Canary Black get out, it could potentially cause World War III. So obviously, this is not something we want the blackmailers to get their hands on. The trailer also provides us with a good look into Stevenson's role as well. And it's just a little bittersweet. We get to see him on the screen with that same commanding presence as he did in Ahsoka. But we also know that we're really not getting much after this because of his untimely passing. I'm always down for a good spy thriller, and this trailer is showing me that I think we might get something that's kind of reminiscent of the Born Identity. Canary Black's release date is right around the corner, October 24th, so stay tuned because you know I will be talking about this one to give you my opinion on it, of course. But watch the trailer and let me know what you think about it. Next, we have a teaser trailer for Angelina Jolie's new movie that's coming out, which is called Maria. This is where she actually plays uh, an amazing soprano opera singer named Maria Callas, and it's pretty much a biopic that talks about her untimely death. This movie premiered at the Venice Film Festival and received an astounding eight minute standing ovation, which is pretty much unheard of. So you know that this movie will likely have some uh, award conversations coming up. The biopic discusses the life story of the American born Greek soprano singer and how she passed away, unfortunately, at the age of 53. Her story is heartbreaking and her voice was a loss to the opera community. Filming wrapped in Budapest in October of 2023 and will hit select theaters November 27th. After that, you will be able to watch it on Netflix December 11th. So here's where I was going to tell you about how a little birdie told us that there was potentially a DC movie that was going to be in the works starring Bane and Deathstroke. And how it wasn't going to be greenlit until James Gunn signed off on it and that there was a script that was just solid. And unfortunately, my microphone decided to make some really random noises in between this filming. So now you just get to hear my silly little voiceover as I complete this video for you guys. Obviously, there's no photos or trailers or anything like that because it is seriously just in the talks. And I'm sure we can all assume that we're not going to get any of the actors that originally played Bane, like Tom Hardy or Joe Manganiello for Deathstroke. But if I do hear anything, I'll let you guys know. I also wanted to throw in there that there will not be a video next week because LA Comic Con is happening and I will be there covering it live. So Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, follow me, follow Flick Direct. I am going to be covering so much stuff and hopefully we'll see a few celebrities there too because LA Comic Con is known for having the craziest selections for meet and greets. I think last year was pretty much a majority of the cast from Lord of the Rings. I think Ewan McGregor is going to be there 
this year. I'm not entirely sure, but I will give you guys a breakdown once we get there and, you know, tune in. It's going to be a fun time. Hopefully we'll get some great cosplay photos and videos. It's just going to be a blast. And for those of you who can't make it, hopefully all of the videos I share will maybe get you there next time. And with that, this concludes this week's episode of Flick News. Please be sure to like and subscribe to all of our channels to ensure you never miss out on any entertainment news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.